Are you still there, guys? We may have solved the problem. We may have. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Rewind. <laughs> Rewind and welcome to our weekly get together. Something very special, very different tonight. You've probably all heard the shocking and devastating news that Simon left us on Thursday. We created this virtual safe space to meet up for these live streams back right at the beginning of lockdown. Four million years ago, 177 shows ago. It's a kind of support group more than anything really, wasn't it? And isn't it? <laughs> Keeping each other's spirits up. And Simon was straight in, offering help and assistance and creating wonderful virtual duets for us. Hardly a show ever went by without us being treated to his wonderful playing. So of course tonight, I either had to no stream or every piece is a Simon piece. I don't need to say much because the music will be saying it all. And so here in the Zen Den, down the bottom of my garden, We're living dangerously, as you can tell. We're on a temporary rented laptop. The camera has been turning itself off and now the, the loopy, loopy loop. But Joe said it was something I did and we've sorted that. So we're together. Let's see if we can stay together for 45 minutes and enjoy some unbelievable sublime bass playing. I want to start with a tune called Hysteria, which I wrote with... Um, our mutual friend, Mr. Paul Birchall, we were like the, uh, the trilogy, the three wise monkeys, or the three stooges, three something, the nucleus of the Snake Davis band for many years. And uh, So on me and Side decided we'd do this as a virtual duet kind of thing. We chatted through the arrangement and uh, we said, right, we'll have an end section where we just swap phrases just for 16 bars, 24 bars, something like that. <laughs> As you'll see, he just kept going because he kept having more ideas and all those groovy lines just flew out of him. So is this hysteria? Yes, mate. Yes. Thank you. 
How are we doing? Are we still together? We... Unbelievable. If I tried to equal him or follow him, <laughs> forget it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Right, we're together. We are together. So obviously, this is not trying to be a full on tribute, anything like that. I'm not worthy or ready for that kind of thing maybe next year but an opportunity for us to relive a few golden moments and enjoy some beautiful music and some incredible bass playing stuff that Simon put together for the, for us really well some of it was for his albums a lot of it was just for us down here in the Zen Den and uh, it's no coincidence that um, Simon ended up 
living in Cuba for a few years, soaking up the music and culture. The groove and the pulse and the heartbeat of great Latin music and great Latin musicians really informs his playing and indeed his whole life. So, we're going to do one called El Bodeguera. And obviously, as, a, as many of you know, he was very knowledgeable about the whole Latin music scene and Cuba and all the rest of it. And uh, taught me a lot of stuff. And uh, used to explain the meanings of, of, the, of the pieces, translate and give us the history. Um, so El Bodiguera means the shopkeeper. It's a cha-cha-cha. It's written by uh, Richard... Eggways, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but he was a legendary Cuban flute player. So let's give that a bash. Where is he? Where is he? What do I need? Yep.
Oh yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, dedicate that to Mercedes, Mercedes Goulding behind most great musicians. <laughs> there is a great woman and certainly Mercedes is a great woman who worshipped that man and his music still does and uh, gave him so much support, so much encouragement, so much strength. Nobody could have been more supportive and committed. And his music is still with us, and it always will be. Ah, what should we have next? Ah, I know. This is one that came out on um, Recuerdos, Simon's three CD set, which is uh, very, very available, simongoulding.com. And uh, this is Besame Mucho. Kiss me loads and loads and loads. That's my translation. I'm sure it is, but it'd be even better. And this is a big old culture mix. Was, um, I think it was me who decided that I'd try the melody on the shakuhachi. Simon bought it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's not what you'd expect. We'll give it a bash. This one's in the can. Where is it? Oh, I was closing so many windows, panicking, trying to get to the bottom of them. Oh, what I've done wrong. Oh, technology. <laughs>
Yes, Mr. Goulding, beautiful. It's a Besame Mucha from Recuerdos. <laughs> and over the years of lockdown, over those 177 shows, or however many it is, we get requests from the Zen Denners. That's a collective description of those who join us in the shed on Sundays. And some of these requests are doable, and some of them are impossible. That's where Simon comes in. So we got a request from Duncan the Dentist for um, a tune by the wonderful Barbara Thompson, one of the UK's finest purveyors of saxophoning. 30 or 40 years old, this one. And, uh, you know, you can't, it's called Stairways. You can't just go, oh, Google, Stairways, back in track. No, 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 it's not going to happen. Would it work on solo sax? I don't think so. Simon! So you did this beautiful arrangement of Stairways. A rarely heard piece. Here we go.
Stairways by Barbara Thompson, arrangement by the one and only Mr. Simon Goulding. Let me add another, other end of the spectrum, crazy request for an impossible tune. This one was by King Curtis. It's just a full on 12 bar blues really, but you know, typically you need a, like a sweaty rhythm and blues band to do it. But um, we got a sweaty Mark Creswell and a sweaty Simon Goulding and a sweaty snake to kind of pull it off. Uh, you just listen to his groove, you don't need a drummer. Oh, monstrous. We'll give it a go. Foot patting. And I hope it does get your feet patting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Mark Russell and Mr. Simon Goulding grooving down the line like a big train. That energy. Ah. Oh. Uh, so much spirit, so much energy, so much beautiful technique, so much gorgeous harmony and humour in this playing. I wanted to show you this little clip. Some of you will have seen us do this live, maybe. When we uh, cast Simon in an acting role and uh, required him become Gary Barlow for a couple of verses. <laughs>
Grimas Negras, Simon, by Miguel Matamoros. Beautiful neck. This next one is an Ellington tune that I've always loved. And uh, I know Simon loved it too. And uh, this is such a great arrangement. In a sentimental mood. <laughs> Say no more.
Yeah. Mate, thank you. You've lost a great friend and an amazing musician. That's what one of my buddies said. And uh, I think a lot of audience members, non-musicians, non-musicians, what does that mean? We've all got music in us. Anyway, Richard wrote this to me when I told him. He said, Simon certainly did give us joy, as you say. For me, he single-handedly changed my view of the bass guitar from something that sat in the background and was hardly noticed to an instrument capable of not only spectacularly intricate rhythms, but also beautiful memories. A rare and prodigious talent. Amen to that. And uh, another fan dropped us a trio of beautiful haikus. Just need to explain that Heionji, Heion, it's a Japanese word meaning peace and tranquility. This studio is called Heionji, on a good day. Recuerdos translates respect, regards, memories, deserving of all. Your candle gone out, but your sheer joy on the stage will always shine on. You left us in awe. When you smiled, we all smiled too. Hey on G, Simon. It's an undeniable statement of fact to say that Simon will live on through his music. His passionate, infectious, joyful, effervescent musicianship. Go to simongoldy.com. Keep his name and his music alive. Buy his music. Keep an eye out for a new album next year. Maybe two albums. And uh, any of you who donate, donate tonight, all that money will go to Mercedes, to his family. So one for the road. Come on, guys. I want you to charge your glasses. If you have a glass and something to charge it with, I want you to stand up, get on your feet. I want you to dance with us for this final piece tonight. I'm so sorry about the way this all started tonight. Any other night, not tonight, you gremlins. Even worse, it was operator error. <laughs> Just four thank yous tonight. It's Mercedes Goulding, Mercedes Mom, Simon's dad, Derek, and the star of the show, Mr. Simon Goulding. Thank you for everything, mate. I'll see you next Sunday. And uh, there's a piece by the great Mario Bowser. It's called Mambo In. And I hope it's going to make you dance. <laughs> Used to make Simon dance. Certainly makes me dance. Right, concentrate. Come on. Thank you.
G. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to leave you with a bit of solo, Simon. And as always, I love having your company. And thank you to Simon for all that he's given us. And thank you to you for loving him as much as I do. See you next week.